Balance the name of the game for the Jayhawks today. Ten different KU players score, including eight of them with five or more points. A step in the right direction in the depth department, something head coach Brandon Schneider tells me they need much more of. It's been kind of up and down, uh, but this was also our first full week of practice with everyone available since mid-October. So, you know, I think that we, we have a lot more depth than, than maybe what we've been able to display uh, in the early part of the season. Milestone night in more than one way for KU's Ryan Cobbins. Her three rebounds push her over 500. 11 points puts her over 1,000 in her career. It was surreal, especially to do it at home in my home state. It's a feeling that I'll never forget. I just wanted to go somewhere I would be happy. Um, it's not about being the leading scorer every night. I just wanted to in my career on a really high note, and I knew coming to Kansas I would be able to do that. So that is what was most important to me. I'm really excited for her. Um, you know, the decision to, you know, come here for her, for her COVID year, fifth year, whatever you want to call it, I know it wasn't an easy one, but she was a, a, a real position of need for us, and it's, and it's great to see her having such an impact on our team and then also be rewarded, um, you know, with the individual accomplishments. Just one more game before conference play for the Hawks, but it's a big one this Wednesday here in Allen Fieldhouse. Nebraska comes to town, a team that beat Kansas in triple OT last season. A chance for revenge for Brandon Schneider and his team. Working for you in Lawrence, Glenn Kinley, 27 Sports.